Hi, on MPI, brought to you by DigiKey. This week it is on Semi. Every week, Lady Ada brings a new product introduction, NPI, to you. Lady Ada, what's the new product introduction of the week? This week. Okay, this week from on Semi, it is the, let me get this right, the ARX383CS. Uh, this is a uh, VGA. Uh, one eighth inch global shutter CMOS digital camera. It comes in, I mean, this is like the, the bottom of it. The top has like a camera interface on it. Um, and this is um, a global shutter sensor that you can pick and place onto an FPC or PCB at a lens. And it'll give you a um, VGA global shutter output with a MIPI interface, I squared C configuration. Um, really good for high speed robotics. Um, video capture, you know, any, any time that you need to get video very quickly, you want to do maybe AI on it, you want to do some image recognition on it, uh, you need to have really good quality images. So you might be wondering, well, why would I buy this? I could just get like, like lots of camera modules on the market, like the fabulous Adafruit OV 5640 breakout. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't I get this? Well, these are very good camera modules um, for their purpose, and they're very popular. Um, the whole family uh, that is kind of compatible. But the problem is, is that these have a rolling shutter. This is like an image from Wikipedia, which is kind of a classic roller shutter image. If it's taking a photo, if you're using a rolling shutter camera to take a photo of something that's moving very quickly, um, whether that in this case, it's a, you know, a fan or a propeller, but it also be somebody's hand um, or, or body or motion. If somebody's moving very quickly or a car or a motor or, you know, some other actuator, because the camera reads out the sensor data one row at a time, it'll get desynced because the motion is happening faster than the pixels can come out of the camera. And the camera only reads like one pixel at a time. What's great about a global shutter is it takes the entire photo at once, makes it more expensive, but means that you, can, you don't get any um, flickering or distortion effect um, because it's like instantaneously taking a photo. And this camera, it's also what I like is it's fairly fast. You know, a lot of cameras kind of max out at 30 or 60 frames per second. Um, but this one, um, running at 640 by 480, you can get 120 if you're willing to do 320 by 240 with subsampling, maybe because you're just, you know, getting basic idea of what's going on in your frame of view. Um, you can get 245 frames per second. So very, very fast for your mechatronic projects, which is really important. Um, this is the camera. So I showed you like the image of the bottom, but it, it kind of comes as this like kind of thick chip inside is the camera sensor itself in the middle and it's um, WCSP or CSP. You would pick and place it onto either your circuit board directly or into a flex PCB. Um, the pinout isn't published in this data sheet. If you want to get the full data sheet, you're going to have to sign NDA. That's not too uncommon for high end uh, camera and vision systems. But basically, you can configure it over I squared C, you provide a couple power supplies, um, and you get MIPI output, one, um, one lane. And that's not new in common. And so that kind of uh, imagery can be read by something like a Raspberry Pi or an STM32F um, or H7, I think, maybe has uh, CSI input. I know that there's an Arduino Pro chip that does, uh, that has camera CSI input. Just make sure that you have something that can handle the, you know, MIPI slash CSI uh, differential input. Um, but if you're kind of doing this high-end robotics, you probably have a high-end chip that can handle it. They do make, if you're like, okay, I don't want to deal with this like chip. I just want to you know, plug in a camera. They do have this prism module, which is, they kind of say it's not really meant for a mass manufacturer. It's more to get people, like if you are, you have a camera manufacturer that you're working with, you would tell them, hey, can you make, um, you know, use this chip instead of the OV series or whatever, because I need a global shutter control. But if you just want to like kind of get started with like, will this even work for my functionality? They do sell um, this module. You can get it from them or from DigiKey. And this one does have like the pinout. And I think they probably even, I'm sure if you contact them, they'll be like, here's your Linux configuration to get it started on you know Android or, or bare bones Linux setup. They also have a larger dev board, which is available at DigiKey right now that you can purchase. Um, and it has like, there's that lens in the middle. I don't know why there's a gigantic plastic piece. Maybe if you want to fit another lens, maybe that's like a lens capture. 
uh, has, it's it's much bigger, but you can wire it more directly right. into your. Maybe someone setup. can find out in the chat while we're doing um, the rest of the show because yeah. uh, that might be a question. What the what the camera lens is? I want you know, the camera's in the middle. I just no, don't know that, what that big piece. That, yeah, that plastic piece. To me, it looks like it holds something. I think it holds yeah. uh, optional, you know, lenses and stuff. Yeah, we'll see. Um, so yeah, um, if you're doing robotics, you're like a pick and place. I was doing the math. It does. It can recognize one component every hundred milliseconds. So wow. to, it needs to take. And, and place it. It needs to take the photos instantly, and you know while the component is moving, it's taking the photo. And so when it gets that yeah. image, you know it has to do it instantaneously. It can't have the motion. It can't. It's not going to stop the motor to take the photo. It wants to take the photo while the component is moving through the uh, view frame. Anyways, uh, so the yeah. eval board is in stock. If you want to pick them up, they're a little more expensive, but you know you're you get everything going. And if you want just a sensor, because maybe you have a camera module. Uh, maker that you're in touch with and they can um, pick and place it onto their FPC. Or if you want to just put it directly onto your uh, board and just attach a lens, go for it. It's in stock with 3,000 pieces. Yeah. And uh, on Semi, DigiKey, uh, what a cool piece of tech. Uh, think about what has to be made to make things. You have to take pictures so fast that a human eye can't even see the thing move. It's taking a picture of something that you can't see move. Because yeah. it's moving so fast. Wow. Yeah. And they make it. Uh, I only, I guess my only regret. In life, really? You only have one regret? Is, uh, I wish we had a video to show. Oh, wait, we do. We I, don't have have any, video. I don't have any regrets. Okay, here we go. Watch the video. This is a good video. My name is Mark Siders. Uh, I work in ICSD within ISG. Uh, I'm the director of application engineer. We're showing off our industrial high speed demonstration platform. The spinning disk with images on it. We're doing that to show the strengths of our global shutter image sensors, right? We've got multiple lines of global shutters. Um, some of them have larger pixels and come in larger formats like our XGS product line shown over here on the left. Um, that has uh, currently an XGS 12 on it. So 12 megapixel sensor. We're propping that down to five megapixel for this demo. And that's what we're displaying on the left in color over here. So as you can see, this disc is spinning quite rapidly, but uh, the image that's coming out on the screen looks virtually frozen. And that's illustrating the strength of our global shutter technology. So this, this sensor allows you to virtually freeze anything in motion that has a wide range of industrial applications. Uh, we use it, uh, you can use it for factory automation, for traffic monitoring. Uh, yeah, obviously, this base chunk sort of a license plate frozen very well at the time. Even though it's moving very quickly, you need global shutters to do that. And we have a wide range of sensors that do that. Hi, I'm MPI.